Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is my first time ever trying to start sweet potato slips. I know it's gonna take a few weeks to see the final product, but what we're doing today is two popular methods. I'm gonna use this tray, fill it up with soil, put some sweet potatoes in it, and try to grow slips. I'm also going to try the mason jar and water method with sweet, to grow sweet potato slips. I've heard this one's faster, let's test it. So I'm starting with sweet potatoes from the store. I got these at Costco about a month ago. Um, I have four of them, so I guess I'll put three in here and one in the mason jar. Let's start with the mason jar option. I have four skewers here. I'm going to attempt to stab the sweet potato um, in, like two going the same direction and then two going this way like an X um, to help stabilize it on the top of the mason jar. And I should be changing this water on a weekly basis. I'm going to double check that the sweet potato fits in the mason jar first. Oh, it looks like I got too much water, but that's an easy problem to solve. Now I have too little water. These are just like wooden kebab sticks that I've had for a long time. So see how I've created almost an X and it's pretty much on the same plane so it won't rotate like this. And I have my gardening shears that I'm going to attempt to use to trim the kebab so I don't have this sitting, all of this sitting on my lanai for weeks. Oh, it works well. All right, it looks like I'm done with this. I may add a little water at the end when I go back and water some of this soil, um, but it looks good. It was actually pretty easy. I just used stuff that I already had at home. I'm gonna move this over here so that I can kind of clear my workspace for the next part. I have this, this is just a seed starting tray. Um, but you could really use anything that, you know, I've seen some people use like an old um, spinach container from the grocery store or an old like um, any type of tub like that that would be big enough to fit your sweet potato. I could actually, I have other sweet potatoes in my pantry. I could add more, but honestly I want to bake those for dinner tonight, so I'm limiting myself to only these three. I'm going to put my gloves on because if I don't... Um, well, every time I use soil and I don't have gloves on, it takes me like three days to get the soil out from underneath my fingernails. So maybe I should just start wearing gloves. I am using uh, miracle Grow seed starting um, potting mix. Um, not for any particular reason other than it's what I have on hand. Um, I'm not sure how big of a difference it makes if you're using like uh, a different type of potting soil. But I think this will be good enough. Some people even add fertilizer, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna, I'm looking to do the basics on my first time around. Maybe um, the next time I make sweet potato slips or if I notice something's going too slow, I can add uh, some fertilizer in there. But right now, it's probably fine. Now my soil is nice and it's pretty dry. I'm gonna go get the hose and add a little moisture. I'm doing this out on my lanai, so all I did was grab my Gor Gorilla Tools retractable hose and I'm just gonna sprinkle it. I don't want it sopping wet or anything, I just want a good amount of moisture in the soil. I 
Let me mix that up and see what it looks like. I think I could use some more. Now some people use a heating mat underneath the tray as well, but I plan to leave it out on my lanai. Um, and I live in central Florida, um, so we have plenty of heat already. Today is April 2nd, 2024, and it's like probably 83 degrees outside already. And so I'm not worried about my soil temperature dropping too low. Just breaking up some of the big bits. Now I'm just going to take my sweet potatoes and put them in. So maybe they, um, I guess, just so they hit the bottom. And I'll mound that soil up around the sides of them. Maybe I should give it a little more room. I'll do this one over here, one in the middle. I'll show you a different camera angle here in a minute. I'm going to put this one right in the center. I think I want to add some more soil. It just seems like, uh, see how I had to mound it up by the sweet potato? I just think when I come back and water, um, like in the future weeks, I'm going to wish that I had more soil in there because it's going to be washing away. I'm not trying to bury the sweet potatoes. I'm just trying to uh, make the soil level, bring the soil level up to like the middle of the sweet potato. That's all. I think that's good. I'm going to add just a little more water for that new soil that I just put on. So I can feel that the bottom of the sweet potato is touching the bottom of the tray and the soil is about the height of the middle of the potato. So I'm, what I'm hoping to see is sprouts grow out of all the potatoes. And then once those sprouts are about four to six inches long, maybe a little bit longer, I'll cut them off the potato and we'll put them in a glass jar with water until roots form. Once those roots form, that's when we have a slip that we can use for planting sweet potatoes. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll follow up this video with another one where we have sprouts growing off the potatoes and we have sprouts going in the water and then we have rooted sprouts going in the ground for sweet potato growing. See you next time guys.